guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to episode 5 of Shelf Talk. This is the final shelf on the big bookshelf that I do most of my filming. You guys have made it for 5 episodes of this. Are you loving it? I hope so. I hope you're loving to see what I have and haven't read. Because I am. Without further ado, I'm going to show you the books on the final shelf on the big baby here. The first book I have on the shelf is Always Watching by Lynette Eason, which is book one in her Elite Guardian series. I have not read this one yet. The next one I have is Without Warning, which is book two in the Elite Guardian series, and I have not read this one yet either. Next, I have Moving Target, which is book three in the Elite Guardian series, and I have not read this one yet either. Next, I have Chasing Secrets, which is book four in the Elite Guardian series, and I have not read this one yet either. Next, I have Oath of Honor by Lena Eason, and this is book one in the Blue Justice series, and I have read this one and really, really enjoyed it. Next, I have Call to Protect, which is book two in the Blue Justice series, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Code of Valor, which is book three in the Blue Justice series, and I have not read this one yet either. Next, I have Vow of Justice by Lynette Eason, and this is book four in the Blue Justice series, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Collateral Damage by Lynette Eason, and this is book one in her Danger Never Sleep series. Next, I have Acceptable Risk, which is book two in the Danger Never Sleep series. Then I have Active Defense, which is book three in the Danger Never Sleep series. Next, I have Cold Shot, which is book one in the Chesapeake Valor series by Danny Petri. I have Still Life, which is book two, and I have not read either one of those. I don't remember if I said that. I also haven't read the Danger Never Sleep series. I don't remember if I said that or not, but if I didn't, there it is again. Haven't read this one. Next, I have Blind Spot, which is book three in the Chesapeake Valor series, and I have not read this one. Then I had Dead Drift by Danny Petri, which is book four in the Chesapeake Valor series, and I have read this one. Next, I have The Killing Tide by Danny Petri, and this is book one in her Coastal Guardian series. Then I have The Crushing Depths, which is book two in the Coastal Guardian series, and I have not read either one of these. Next, I have Beneath the Surface, which is book one in the Dive Team Investigator series by Lynn H. Blackburn, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Into Deep by Lynn H. Blackburn, which is book two in the Dive Team Investigator series, and I have read this one. Then I have One Final Breath, which is book three in the Dive Team Investigator series, and I have read this one as well. Then I have Unknown Threat by Lynn H. Blackburn, and this is book one in her new Defend and Protect series, and I have not read this one yet. Next is Leaving Lavender Tides by Colleen Coble, and this is a novella in her Lavender Tides series, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have The View from Rain Shadow Bay, and this is book one, the full novella in the Lavender Tide series, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have The House at Saltwater Point, and this is book two in the Lavender Tide series, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Secrets at Cedar Cabin, which is book three in the Lavender Tide series by Colleen Coble, and I have read this one. Next, I have If I Run by Terry Blackstock, and this is book one in the If I Run series, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have If I'm Found, which is book two in the If I Run series. The next book I have is If I Live, which is book three in the If I Run trilogy, and I haven't read this series yet. Real quick, I wanted to show you something super cool about the If I Run series. When the spines are together, they make a picture, and then when the covers are together, they also make a picture, so... I thought that's super fun. I love telling people about it. So there you go. Little tidbit. Next, I have Living Lies, which is book one in the Harvard Secret series by Natalie Walters. And I have read this one. Next, I have Deadly Deceit, which is book two in the Harvard Secret series. And I have read this one. And the last book that I have on this shelf at the moment is Silent Shadows, which is book three in the Harvard Secret series by Natalie Walters. And I have read this one as well. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed my suspense shelf. Uh, most of it anyways. Nope, I lied. I have another area where there is suspense and you will see it at another time. Uh, but these are the authors that I love a lot, a lot, a lot. So they're here in my room. But let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these books and if you have, which ones you liked. I just want your thoughts, really. Talk to me. Don't forget you can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com. You can also check out my Instagram, which is for the love of Christian fiction. And all my other links are in the description box below. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.